As you saw earlier, I was forced to buy spotlights because of bulb sockets. There were no sockets uh, sold uh, separately, so I have bought 10 spotlights. Now I need to disassemble these spotlights to get sockets. I found housing for my infrared soldering station. As you see, this ancient, ancient monster is a housing from a legendary Hewlett Packard Vectra VE. It's made from a very solid metal, something more than one millimeter thickness. It's very heavy. This metallic board inside can be used as a reflector for the bottom lamps here we have very good radiator that can be used for dimmer and a bj here i think i could train to unsold the bjs on this pcb on this motherboard anyway it's trash motherboard is taken off and it remains only to take off this central wall and to remove small metallic things to reduce the weight of this housing construction. Almost two kilograms of scrap removed from that housing. This is what we got clean box from a solid metal okay what changes are made now i've installed four pads that are higher than initial ones the default ones there is more space now between the station and the floor all lamp sockets are cut in two pieces, as you see, and uh, these halves are installed at this place. After measuring lamp length, they are installed on a simple big screws. And at the top of this big screw, there are two aluminum bars from both sides. So sockets are staying a screw to this aluminum bus. Here we have aluminum plate that will be wrapped in foil to reflect more, more heat to consider lower heating done we should connect these lamp sockets with the help of such connecting sockets we will have two blocks with the three lamps in each block that will be connected parallel What do we see here? This hell machine is working. Let's try to change intensity. Dima is okay too.
the single thing is that uh, two lamps have a small difference in uh, color of uh, light and uh, this means that uh, the resistance uh, is not the same so I've put two, two lamps that are a bit darker to the sides so in such way they will uh, make no problems for us and it doesn't really matter for the edges of the motherboard that it will be heated uh, a little bit lower these lamps uh, were of no name brand and this is package of these lamps so unknown Russian manufacturer without any writings on it just simple paperboard lower part is almost ready I think I should add a turn off button for the emergency cases and mount this stuff somewhere here for example it has nut here so I will mount it here to make it more comfortable then I will be searching for the metal box for the top part and for the other stuff so still a lot of work